Yes, yes, yes. Good morning. Y'all know what it is. It's another walk and talk. Wow. I couldn't wait to get here. I've been really busy working. As you guys can see on some of the videos we've been in different parts of Georgia. Getting getting some footage and stuff like that. And, uh, just been real busy. And uh, here we are, an opportunity to do a walk and talk. Kind of catch up. I want to talk a little bit about the mind. And what I've been taught, what I've experienced and what I practice. I've learned the mind is a very powerful thing. And if you're not aware of it, it could work itself against you. It can work, it, it, the mind can work itself. It's, it's designed to protect you. You're, you're sitting by a campfire. You, the mind is saying, oh, you're too close. Back up so. It's set up to protect you. An example this morning. So last night, yesterday I took a nap. And, um, and I went to bed early so that I can uh, stick to my schedule. Because I like walking in the dark. I like getting up before in the morning and walking in the dark. And I like the coldness of the air. So I woke up around 1. I'm like, dang. I didn't know what time it was at first. But I'm like, dang, I'm ready to go. Look at the clock. It says it's 1 o'clock. I'm like, dang. I'm excited. And I, you know. I got so much material that I have to uh, produce to inspire, to entertain, and to teach. So all this stuff is going through my mind throughout the day and you following me to sleep. So one o'clock comes, I'm like, dang, it's one o'clock, that's it. So I'm rolling, tossing, and turning for basically three hours. No pool, good stop. I'm tossing and turning for three hours. And um, lo and behold, when it's time to get up. Okay, up. Lo and behold, when it's time to get up, I'm finally sleepy. I'm so sleepy. I'm like, oh, I sleep so good right now. And I don't even know if I was asleep those three hours. But I know when it was time to get up, all of a sudden I hit the snooze button for like three times. I'm like, man, I don't want to go to sleep. This 10 minutes of snooze feels so good. Oh, one more time, one more snooze, one more snooze. Then I realized what was happening. Ah, the mind is working against you. You have a will, you have a purpose. And your mind is trying to jack, hijack that purpose. And I said, nope. Forget these snooze. I got miss. I have already created a plan for my day the day before so that I know when I get up the things that I need to do in what specific order. You know, and I wanted to walk and talk. I want to get out in the cool air like I am now. When, I, when I'm done with this, I'm going to go to my gym. And I'm going to train shoulders. After that, I'm going to go upstairs. And I'm going to clean the main, the main level. Clean my kitchen. After that, I'm going to one of my rooms. Straight one of my rooms out. For some more recording. And, uh... 
I gotta do, I got I got stuff to do, I got I got plans. But I already have it mapped out in my mind. And I know that if I was stay sleep longer, then it'd just throw off my whole day. And I'm like, nah, I'm not doing that. But I caught my mind working against me. Like, no, you know you need to rest. You didn't get that much sleep. It's okay. It's, you, you're off today. All that type of stuff. So, I want to talk to you guys about I met a, a young soul, Antoine, this week. Some of you might have read the letter, heard the letter that I made to him. I told him. I'm going to stay in communication through my YouTube channel. He can comment if you like, and then we can build from there. But I told him, I, I, was, I told him to listen to the walk and talks to be inspired, to help grow. And he's like, okay. So that's the only reason why I made that letter for him, so that he can know that somebody is rooting for him. And, uh, but, you know, I was talking to him about the mind, how important it is to imagine and meditate and to, to, to dream, to have dreams and aspirations. And I was talking about how, you know, they say crazy people, they're out of their mind. You see people walking down the street talking and to themselves, talking to the air. And, you know, there's a term, like they're out their mind. And um, I was telling him it's important that we get in our mind. A lot of times we spend so much time watching movies, talking to friends, hanging out, always doing things external. And we never make the time to do things eternal. I said, we have to get in our mind. I remember there's times where I meditate on the type of life that I want to have. And they'd be so fulfilling more than watching the movie. I'd be wanting to get back to that same space and that same spot on the couch. And I'd be wanting to just envision those experiences and feel those experiences more than just actual watching TV. And um, that's a part of being in your mind and your imagination. And um, we've been taught not to do that so often. Or not even taught, we've been influenced not to do that. We come, they come out with new series, animation, gangster movies, all different types of stuff to just gain your attention and we'll give those things two or three hours of our mind so easily without even realizing it. And then we're back to work, gotta eat, then we go back to sleep, and we never created anything of ourselves, for ourselves. So I was telling him to get in his mind and create a life. You can sit under a tree, on a couch, on your porch. And it's, and it's not easy to do because we've been using our phones so much. We, we've been addicted to using our phones, watching TV. Well, it's kind of hard to sit down, but you guys, we have to practice these things if you want to create a certain type of experience for yourself. You have to do the work, you know? You have to do the work. Give yourself 10 minutes, five minutes, and try it. Close, close your eyes and think about the life that you want to live. I mean, it's to the detail. You know, and then it's like, let's say if I'm at home, I'll imagine the type of woman I want. And she's coming down the stairs and she's greeting, she's speaking to me. And she's, she's dealing with me in a fashion that I, that I would desire. And sometimes, like I was telling him, sometimes I would imagine it on a level of love so much that I, I couldn't comprehend it because it was like hard to phantom that I even deserved it in my imagination. And I would snap back like, yeah, I deserve it. Then I would go deeper into how much she cared for me and 
and how I felt and how it was like no ever love before and stuff like that. And um, then I'll be done and I'll get up for my meditation and I'll deal with my dogs or make me something to eat or whatever it is I needed to do. But I will be so full of life, so full of joy from living within, you know. And then you keep those things up. And if it pleases the Lord, he will allow those circumstances to uniquely materialize. But they only can materialize if you're full of that hope. If you, you can't, they only materialize if they're in your subconscious mind. If they live in your subconscious mind. If you only materialize, oh, I got to go to work tomorrow. And that's all you think about. That materializes. It materializes 365. So we are living what we think. So dare to think different. Play with it. Play with it. Dare to think different. The mind is beautiful. The mind is beautiful. It can work against you. You have to counter, like David Goggins said, you have to callous your mind. Like, I'm, I'm so grateful that I've always been on a journey to make my mind strong. Because I will also see how people will be thinking you have a weak mind where you would need them. You would need their attention, you would need their time. And I've conditioned my mind. I'm all I need. I've always been all I need. I just ha- was able to share myself with people. Q, that's a no. That's a no. I've always been able to share my life with people. But I've also conditioned myself to be at peace with my individuality. Callousing your mind, making yourself stronger, and doing tough things. You have to be able to put yourself through certain resistance so that when life brings resistance, you are accustomed to it and you know how to maneuver and still have your peace and continue to move forward. But in society, we always are trying to escape the pain. No, embrace the pain. Create pain for yourself. And one of the ways that I'm speaking on creating pain for yourself is through working out. Through working out. Sometimes I will take the dogs and I'll have a backpack full of weights in it. And I will carry dumbbells. And I'll just go walk. And every time the dumbbells got too heavy, the kettlebells got too heavy to carry, I drop it and I'll do squats. And there's times where I'm going to drop it, but I don't drop it. And I'm like, I'm going to walk this distance, four houses distance. And it'd be so hard to come to the third house. I got one more house distance. And that type of stuff right there is so rewarding. Get over here. So rewarding. We're not giving ourselves the reward of being tough and strong anymore because we're not applying ourselves. Start trying to give yourself challenges, whether it's walking your dog, playing with your kid, reading the book, writing, whatever it is. Like today, I'm off from my business that's that's in the trucking industry, but I told myself I will work until 5 o'clock today. Then I'll be off from building my own in-home business, my um, 
YouTube channel doing things. I just receive all my packages for my future videos that I'm going to bless you guys with it, hopefully. And I got to set up a room for that kind of stuff. But I'm going to train, take care of my house, get things in order. And I'm not going to stop until 5 o'clock. I got training of myself to do. I have reading I have to do. I'm responsible for all those things at 5 p.m. today. When 5 p.m. come, I'm going to let it all go. Then I'll be able to see what I want to watch on Hulu or Netflix or whatever. But until then, I have work to do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sowing the necessary seed. So I can have the harvest that I desire. Ah, ah, no pool. That's a no. Good boys. Oof. Goodness. Side. See, that's what I'm talking about. All oh, praises. Because I got these dogs with one. No pool. I got these dogs. No pool. Good boys. Good boys. Good, 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 good. You got to praise them when they do the right thing. Because let me tell you, come on. I have these dogs with one hand. And I grip in the tight. And a cat just shot out from nowhere. And if they were really wanting to get that cat... I would have to let the leash go, which I don't want to do, or they would have drugged me. I mean, that's so powerful. I They can pull me to where I fall, and they would literally drag me if I was to hold on to the leashes. And I'm very grateful. Good job, boys. Good, good, good. Good stay. Good stay. And I praise them, and I love them for the right things that they do. Because these guys can definitely be rogue. These guys are tame, they're domesticated, and I try to let them still have a wild side about them, but I really appreciate the respect that they have for me. Good boys, good boys, good stay. And that's just that, but like I was saying, sowing the seed so that I can um, have the YouTube channel that I desire. And it's going to take mental discipline. Mental discipline. To put the editing down. To make the content. To build myself up. To educate myself. On making the content. It takes work. It literally takes work. And um, all these beautiful YouTubers that I'm subscribed to. I'm subscribed to. You know, I get to see the fruit and experience the fruit of their labor. No one really thinks about does a YouTuber really have to work. Yes, we do. After I did all my recording yesterday, I had to check the timelines of which video on the videos that I wanted to post. It was fun. I've always had cameras. I always, always had cameras. I got photos back in the days I always had cameras so I'm about to invest into another camera so I'll be out there in the universe with a dope camera with sizes in my phone and um so I love animals I love video videography I love taking pictures and it's like wow I, I'm going to create an opportunity for me to earn income from things that I love and I love teaching I love sharing my insight and stuff like that. So it's like, I get it now. And who would have known it was these things? You know, the animals, the photos, and the teaching that I could possibly create away from me. Things that I'm already doing and loving. So it's like, I'm going to be passionate with growing to master the things. And, it, and, and passion is not enough. It's the mental discipline. It's the discipline where everybody off right now. Everybody's in a fetal position resting. When I'm up doing my walk and talks the way I like to do them. I'm up giving the dogs their exercise because it's been raining all weekend. We got an opportunity for it to be dry. We're gonna take that opportunity and stretch their legs so that if it rain the rest of the day, me as a pet owner, I know I supported my animals in their health. 
I, I, I love that part. I love getting their part taken care of. So they won't be looking at me like, I want to go outside. Especially dirty. Dirty always try to lay the guilt trip on me. Always, always, always. Q so humble. We've been Q been rocking out for years. So he know I'm going to get him and I'm going to take care of him. But dirty, he, he's always throwing a guilt trip on me. Doing his little cry. Laying his face on the floor. So when I know I did my part towards him, then um, I feel good as a pet on him. Stuff like that. So I want to say I appreciate you guys for listening. Uh, please don't forget to start putting comments in the comment session. If you share it with a friend or two, that'd be cool. Hit the thumbs button. And uh, get on this journey with me. Watch me grow. Because I'm going to start making it. Watch me grow. Watch me grow. Watch the journey. You know what I'm saying? I see I have vision one day. Like, uh, eventually y'all will see that beautiful lady walking the dogs with me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to see all that. All that's going to materialize if it pleases the Lord. And, um, in this perfect time. You know? But I hope you guys have a great day. Please, please start using your mind. Start using your imagination. Know that your mind can work against you. It's going to want you to rest. It's going to want you to take the least road of resistance. But you have to go sometime against that thought in order to get the things that you want. If you want to lose weight... Start cutting back on certain stuff. Certain stuff. I stopped eating meat a year and a half ago. I, then after that, I stopped eating lentils, which are beans. And then after that, I stopped eating cheese. You don't get me wrong. I love cheese. But me, me studying myself, I'm learning the things that are hurting me, that are benefiting me, even though they taste good. You don't get me wrong. I won't be like at a restaurant. And if I order a salad and I forgot to take the cheese off, whatever, I'll eat it because I know that I don't eat it regularly no more. I'm not going to make a big scene about it. I'll just be like, all right, cool. They forgot. And I'll eat it because I do enjoy it. But I don't buy it no more for consumption of my own. And it's small, small things so that I can get to my actual physique goals and desires. So you guys start just making the small steps, whatever they may be, and you'll get there, but you first got to take it there in your mind. You first got to take it there in your mind. So on behalf of myself and the animals, I wish you guys a great day, and we highlight y'all later on. Peace.